Breaking news we're following. This is a live picture from our tower cam overlooking downtown Milwaukee. You can see a fire continues to burn at the recycling plant in the Menominee River Valley. The smoke, you can see it for miles. Dozens of first responders on the scene of that blaze. And so is our Miriam McCarr, and she joins us now with the very latest. Good afternoon, Miriam. Good afternoon, Susan, Steve. Yeah, when we first arrived to the scene here, plumes of black smoke could be seen coming from essentially every inch of the building behind me here. But it's calmed down now, thankfully, as you can see, but the fight to put the fire out is very much so still going. We got word from Milwaukee Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky about an hour ago. He says the cause was a machine catching fire inside. The fire seemed to have spread to other machines and areas in the building, which made the effort to put it out much more difficult. He said, thankfully, there are no injuries to anyone who is working inside or any first responders, but that's due in part to this not being their first call to this building. Unfortunately, we have a long and storied history in this facility of fires. Uh, it is somewhat the nature of this sort of work uh, in, in the recycling industry, uh, but uh, thankfully uh, that has uh, trained the individuals that work here uh, and we've worked uh, a lot with them to get them actively evacuating anytime these sorts of things happen. The value of the recyclable, recyclable materials in there uh, doesn't even come close to the value that I place on one of my firefighters' lives. So we are going to be going very slow and methodically. It seems the fire is mostly under control now. 75 firefighters from both Milwaukee and Wauwatosa were called to this scene this afternoon and have been working for hours to put it out. They're also testing the air for any toxins, so anyone who lives nearby is asked to close their windows if they can for the rest of the evening. Reporting live, Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News. All right, Miriam, thank you for that update.